cool. Okay, so up here, let's see, polar. We're going to do it up here. So we've got a circle, the red dot. I just dropped the red marker. I got it here. Okay, so red dot inside there. Let's write it in. I'm not wasting my green. And then purple is going to be in. Go all. So this polar up here, draw our dots in. Whoop. Like this too. We'll just write alcohol. Alcohol. Take our red, draw our dots. Dot lovers. Dot. Alcohol. It's going to be different. Up here, it's a double bonded O, so it's not an alcohol. This is the carbonyl group. But this here is an alcohol. So, check it. Corners. Well, there are a couple methyls out there, right? Where are the dot drawers? Dot. Dot, dot for methyl. Three red dots. Dot on the carbon. Threonine. Polar alcohol. Okay, what are we back to now? First we do the template. We have this gal's nice recycled resume paper. I hope she got the job. Diamond. I mean triangle. It's late, folks. Diamond on the other side to line it up. Diamond in the middle. Off the sides to the bottom. Arm to the side. Draw our dots just to make us feel like we got it all taken care of here. Da 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 da. Oh, there it goes. Got to grab it because I think we're doing another polar one here. Let me check. I've had batteries actually die on me in the middle of my. Almost done, baby boy. I had the mic on when I yelled at Well, baby boy out there heard me. So, bear with me. I got to get something to drink. Dry, dry throat. This is Sea Star Memorial Lecture, the Cincinnati Red Star. And look at all around me. I'm surrounded by ladders made by Husky. <laughs> So we're here. Where are we now? We were doing our oxygen up there. Were we doing another polar one? Let's do um, all right, one more polar one since we had a thing here. What do we do? We do a green circle with red in the middle. That's polar. The easiest polar ones are the alcohols. Okay, so down here, what do we do? It's usually always a diamond again. So you maybe even get by even without putting the line in there. If we do things like magnets, put those in there or something. Oh, and I went and blew it already. Okay, what can we do instead here? We're going to do, it's got to be polar. One, okay, two more carbons down here. We're going to get is for the big finale one, two carbons to a double green O, to a nitrogen. Check that out. And the nitrogen has a single bond. 
Is all the color in there? This is purple. This really should be blue. Okay, we're going to get out our good pass, whatever you call those markers. Red. Where's the dot? Dot. 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 Put. There it is. So I guess it would look more colorful and stuff if these were colored in, right? That over there. Black. Again, we found all these markers in the dumpster, so this amino acid here is called, it's got one carbon in between, asparginine. Let's see if we can write that. Asparginine. Huh? Pretty impressive? I know all this stuff. I've been studying for years. It took me twice as long to learn half as much. ASP, abbreviation for that one. Okay, we're going to draw the greens in because when we string these along, we want to show how colorful it is. It's one of our main gigs here. Well, there's green. That's all colored in. That's now I wrote alcohol. Ah, oh, see, I already blew it. This is called aldehyde. Let's do that. Can we change it yet? still called polar because you're going to have these two lone pairs of electrons out there. So this is an aldehyde. Look how cool that works. Huh? Almost looked like magic, didn't it? Polar aldehyde. Oh, man, this is impossible. It's killing my back to be leaning like this. I hope you appreciate it. But see what we got here. We need to make this green a little better. We're, we're getting too conservative with the markers here. So what would the next class activity be? Making all these with balloons. Huh? That's our next step. So first we're drawing them with our shapes here. What do we do next? Get our template. Okay, we're going to try one with the markers here. So here's a one first. Got a triangle. Make all these really small now so we can you know, focus in on the amino acid side chain this time. Over here we've got triangle. Get some carbonyls, so we'll draw a green in here. Down here we've got our Carbon in the middle. See, look, we can, when we're folding them over, it's almost like we could trace the bottom. You see that? You see how it's underneath? Let's trace it. Triangle. Up. Down. Down the amino acid. So you can trace these, huh? Look at that. Underneath there, I see it. What's the next one we're going to do here? We're going to do glutamine to show how that, oh, we're too high up with our diamonds. See, already we should be down low. Let's pick a small one. We're going to do cysteine first, okay? So what this gets is a diamond. And then it gets a sulfur. So let's see what we can do for that. Do we have a different, okay, well, that's why we're pulling out all the stops now, people. See what you think about this. Sulfur. What do we do a sulfur shape as? Oh my gosh. We forgot anyway. Here we'll just draw in. Sulfur is a circle because sulfur is in the oxygen group. And what does sulfur get on the bottom? It's just like having an OH. So in this case, all it gets is protonic dot. Got a dot here, dot there, dot here, dot there. Huh? Watch the fingerprints, don't I? Oh boy, look at that red and everything. What's this one called? Cysteine. 